Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video and I am here with the latest in terms of what is happening across the tropics. We have Tropical Storm Brett which actually intensified some more earlier and has prompted a hurricane watch and uh, there is a newly formed depression so previously known Invest 93L has intensified into Tropical Depression 4 and is expected to become Tropical Storm Cindy. Could it pose a threat to the Lesser Antilles? So I will be going into all you need to know in this update and before I do so please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update so let's go ahead and get straight into it we're looking at a satellite imagery here off of the North Atlantic this morning and we can see that there's lots of activity going on we've got some activity over in the Western Caribbean affecting Central America and uh, there is Brett on approach to the Lesser Antilles uh, there's also some activity in the basin and that is in a association with a tropical wave behind Brett to the southeast there we have depression four uh, and some of that activity actually in association with the new tropical wave that has recently emerged and so now let's go ahead and talk about uh, what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas just to briefly look at what's going on out there so there we can see lots of activity across the western part of the basin as I said earlier and this is bringing impacts to Central America continuous heavy rainfall so it's likely that there has been some flooding across sections of especially in Nicaragua maybe even other territories such as Honduras and uh, we see that this morning most areas are being affected by this in Central America. It's really just Guatemala going to Belize and uh, the Yucatan that are not currently feeling impacts. However, uh, rainfall is likely there throughout today and uh, going to the Cayman Islands as well, a bit of activity noted within the area but nothing too intense as what is happening just along the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. As we look into the vicinity of the Bahamas, we see that for the Northern Bahamas, there is some shower and thunderstorm activity taking place most other area for most other areas maybe some overcast conditions or some sunny weather going to most of Cuba uh, cloudy across some areas mainly with those higher level clouds similar story for Jamaica but things are clearing up this morning we should be seeing some beautiful sunshine and as we drift more to the eastern Caribbean going to Hispaniola clear for the most part again some of that shower and thunderstorm activities in the area in association with that tropical wave things are pretty clear in the ABC Islands uh, going to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and the Lesser Antilles, nothing much happening this morning. However, this will change as the day goes by because conditions will deteriorate once Brett is going to be making its approach. And then let's go quickly to Northern South America. We see that there is some activity along sections of Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, and even into parts of Suriname, but that uh, activity there in Suriname is dissipating. So uh, likely in association with the intertropical convergence zone where there is a lot of moisture favoring the development of lots of showers and thunderstorms and now we want to go ahead and take a look at our newest depression here and then we'll be looking at Brett in some details uh, and to see what new is expected of this so so here is zooming closer to the coast of Africa and there we see our tropical depression depression 4 brewing Cindy out there and uh, as I said earlier we have that other uh, area of activity likely in association with that tropical wave now as we go ahead and look at the short wave infrared imagery here we can sort of see this uh, cyclonic rotation this counterclockwise rotation of the system and it is not looking the most organized because the center is around there and it isn't symmetrical so most of that activity lies to the west of the center of the system however it is expected to intensify as we progress uh, through the next couple of days and uh, it is expected to peak at a tropical storm but when we're talking about the long term there can be many changes so going on to the forecast cone from the national hurricane center here the cone of uncertainty uh, we can see that the depression has winds of 35 miles per hour, of course. Uh, by later today or so, it is likely going to be intensified into tropical storm Cindy, and it is moving westward at 12 miles per hour. Now, when we look at this cone, it widens as we go out in time, and the reason for that is because the center can pass anywhere within the cone. So uh, what we're seeing now is likely to shift a bit more to the north or south, or even remain consistent, who knows? But changes are always possible with the forecast track here and we can see that uh, in the best case scenario this would be missing the lesser Antilles completely and remember that this cone is to track the center not the size so even though the center can be uh, offshore because the system could be uh, big enough it could induce some a lot of rainfall
well, maybe with some gusty winds at times across some parts of the northeastern Caribbean. So that is a possible outcome. However, uh, as it accelerates to the northwest, it is expected to encounter some stronger shear and hence weakening is expected. So uh, let's see what's going to be happening with it. But now to the main treat of this video, Tropical Storm Brett, which is just below hurricane intensity. So what you're seeing now is a graph showing data collected by the hurricane hunters that actually flew into these cyclones. So they do this for a lot of cyclones, especially those that are threats. Uh, so they actually go in to get uh, that more accurate data on what is going on with it. So it has made three passes through the center. Now in the third and final pass, when they actually released a drop sound, and drop sounds, they're basically used to gather data. Uh, so they release them in tropical cyclones. So that recorded a pressure lower than the previous two passes, which is 996 millibars. And the lower pressure means that the system is intensifying. And where you see those purple uh, wind barbs here, that is indicating winds of around 64 knots, which would be uh, very close to hurricane intensity. And with that decreased pressure, the NHC has increased uh, the intensity of it uh, earlier this morning to 70 miles per hour. So with just four miles per hour more, with any more slight strengthening, Brett would be a hurricane. But that window of opportunity is closing as it closes in on the Lesser Antilles. But because hurricane conditions are possible from this, the hurricane watch is now in effect for St. Lucia. Let's go on to the cone forecast. And that is marked in pink. Next, we have a tropical storm warning uh, that is highlighted in blue. That is in effect for Dominica, St. Lucia, Martinique. And then a tropical storm watch is in yellow. That is in effect for Barbados and St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And so hurricane conditions will be possible as we progress uh, into later today, going to tonight and into tomorrow morning for St. Lucia. And of course, our bread is going to be unleashing lots of heavy rainfall, those very strong gusty winds, uh, even a bit of inundation along the coastline, that storm surge. And so uh, the main problem with this will be the rainfall because flooding rains will be likely across areas under the various watches and warnings. But other sections of the Lesser Antilles, such as uh, going to Guadeloupe, could also experience a lot of rainfall from this. But heading further north, going to areas such as Montserrat, St. Kitts Nevis, uh, St. Barthelemy, Saba, St. Eustatius, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, it is likely that uh, the outer bands from Brett will be bringing some intermittent rainfall, which could be heavy at times. Uh, maybe you experience a bit of wind gust here and there, but nothing compared to what uh, the ants to the south of those uh, will be experiencing. So it is unlikely that you guys are going to be feeling anything too major. Same story for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And uh, going down to Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago, rainfall activity is also likely from Brett uh, for you guys, which can be heavy at times. But again, most of the impacts, the worst of the impacts would be for the areas of uh, the aforementioned areas listed under watches and warnings. But as we're going to be heading into later Friday, Brett should be moving out. And so uh, it is not going to be last in too long in the area but uh, it will still be there for some time and then as we head to Saturday morning when passing the ABC Islands if the shear isn't taking too much of a toll on it and it has enough activity especially in the southern half then we could even see some rainfall being induced for the ABC Islands which have been lacking substantial rainfall for quite some time so it would be good if Brett would be uh, close enough with enough activity to actually induce some rainfall there as we're going to be heading into this week Weekend. So hopefully that's the case. And it should continue on that westward trajectory across the Central Caribbean, but dissipation is expected by Saturday evening. Uh, and so uh, the remnants are likely to move south of Jamaica. But in that case, uh, if there is enough activity, then we could experience some increased rainfall around that time. But let's see what happens with this as we uh, head into the next couple of days. And so as we look at the satellite imagery of Brett, here we have it looking quite massive and extensive, trying to maintain that activity. So uh, it is going to be making its way into the area later today, as I said. Now, guys, uh, I implore you to all take the necessary precautions and stay safe. If you're under a watch, if you're under a warning, this morning is the final chance to get things in place. Even though we're not talking about a very strong system, we're not talking about a cat 2 or a cat 3 hurricane here Brett is still strong enough to cause some massive destruction and so i'm asking that you all stay safe there i'll continue to give updates 
And that is pretty much it for right now. And so if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I will be responding as soon as I get the chance to. And remember to always be weather wise.